This is the Laugh Time Show. Hey guys, it's the Laugh Time Show here. I am Sean. I'm Bob. He's Bob over there. Hi everybody. What's going on? Now, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I got a mad face because I'm mad. You do have a mad face. There's people getting away with all kinds of stuff. There's just, there's just real, real assholes out there. There's a lot of negativity. And this is the Laugh Time Show. The laugh or last? It's the laugh. So I'm, I'm trying to fight it. It's the laugh time show. So <laughs> okay. there we go. <laughs> so we're going to take care of those people. Yeah, let's get the positivity rolling. And I got some things lined up here. Things to wish on those people. All right. For fucking everything up. Now, here we go. This might not be one of them. Because I'm, yeah, this, no, this one is. Hope somebody hits you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't listen yet, because we're not ready. Okay. These are things, bad things, that should happen to those people. Hope somebody hits you in the middle of face with a hundred mile per hour gallon of boiling mm. piss, you bastard. <laughs> man. Yes. See? Boiling piss. You want to break it down for a little bit? That's, that one does. Man, that's really nasty. 100 mile per hour getting hit in the face with boiling piss. How about that, you asshole? First of all, that's a lot of planning to boil piss. It takes a lot of planning to do that. Is, is the piss going to be going 100 miles an hour or is the person going to be going 100 miles an hour? Either way is fine. If you can get them to go 100 miles per hour, that'd probably it's take... better. I would say you have a gallon of boiling piss. Like I don't know how <laughs> right. it's boiling. Maybe they, it was sitting in the desert. I don't know what the hell's going on in this situation. Uh, but... You know, just chucking it out the window when you're going 100 miles yeah. an hour. Hit him right in the face. Next one, because we're not done with that person. The boiling piss police were coming to get us because we were, cause we were <laughs> yeah, talking about boiling like, piss. Whoa, and that's guys. really illegal. That, you can't allowed. wish that on somebody. That's going way too far. Everybody knows they you thought cannot we were, they boil thought piss. They were actually planning it. It's against the books. You, it's, in the law, it's a law. You cannot boil piss, and let alone throw it to somebody. And 100 miles an hour, that's a death penalty. You're going to jail for life at least. I think they would definitely die from that. I think they <laughs> would. Really I think they would. Unless they're really, really thirsty. They try to cool it down real quick and drink it. That's only one of these so far. Okay, good. People, that's maybe one person. He's dead. He's taken care of. But there's so many people out there that need this. They need much worse than that. That's too kind for Here a lot go. of people. Why don't you go snort some powdered diarrhea, you asshole? Little Snorting less. power diarrhea. Hmm. Snort. I mean, that wouldn't kill him, but that would be very uncomfortable. How are you going to powder diarrhea? Yeah. What First of all, you got to powder it. That's easy to powder it. Powder, you know the, how to get something Just put powder. it in the oven and, and dry it out and then just pound it down with a, a little one of those little pestle things, mortal pestle things, and, and it's powder. And get somebody to. What you got to let it dry out for you a long dry time. Out. Yeah. Uh, it was just for them to snort it. So all right. So how are you gonna make somebody snort though? That might be a problem. So this is what know. you do: one hour in the oven, diarrhea dries out. Make powder out of it, smash it down, make lines out of it, give them a straw, put a gun to their head, snort the diarrhea, asshole. Or you could just make them not breathe for a long time, and then yes. like that right. would be perfect. And have it ready to go. Like, wait. Have wait. have two di powdered diarrhea Put plugs in their nose. No. And then cover their mouth. So the only way no. to breathe. I got a better idea. Okay. Two straws in their nose. Yeah. Oh, blow in, it up in, there. In a bowl of powder, diarrhea powder, and duct tape their mouth shut. Yeah. They got to breathe. And right. the straws are submerged under <laughs> the diarrhea awesome. powder in the bowl. I want to see that happen. So they are breathing diarrhea powder. They got to really be a bad enemy to have, to have that fate put <laughs> oh, on them. Oh, shit. It's bad. And you know what? I don't think you can survive. A human can survive breathing diarrhea powder <laughs> instead of not. air. It'd be I a don't good experiment. think it can happen. It'd be a very good experiment. I can tell you what's going to happen. Instead of prisons, we got to be more creative. But like I can that. tell you the outcome. They're not going to survive. <laughs> I don't think the lungs can really absorb diarrhea powder. Oh, man. Get it? Yeah. And that would work. That would be interchangeable with the boiling piss. You could boil the diarrhea, too. Hit him with a diarrhea gallon. But I think the piss will get all over him more, and it's probably easier to boil that. And, and I don't know. The logistics of this, I'm not sure. Well, the piss will be the lesser of the two. So yeah. if you're trying to get somebody to talk and they don't talk after the piss, all right, fucker, you don't talk now. We're gonna pull <laughs> yeah. out the diarrhea powder now. These are very Forget creative, the boiling piss. Creative ways of torturing people. Government, write this down. Write it down. Come on, exactly. Government. Hello. All of you guys, or else this is gonna happen to you. 
I hope two bees fly up your dick hole and sting both your balls at the same time. Now, how can that happen? Now, that's, that's, that's a long shot, but okay, <laughs> that's really the first a long two shot. were kind of feasible, but this one, yeah. But it's just something to hope that happens. I don't know well, how you know it what? would happen, but that would be that would be a son of a bitch if that happened. But the only way they could happen is this is a, they'd have to be Captain America bees to fly up your pee hole and <laughs> smash through the urethra to get to the balls. No, they have to smash hole. through the tube. <laughs> they just can't get there. It's not a straight path. You can't fly up inside and go right to the ball bag. You can't do ball. that. You can't do that. They gotta be super Captain America bees. Is already the best podcast ever. Superpowers. This long time. These insults are whatever wishful. <laughs> they gotta have superpowers. Get I, it? I named this one Suffer Hope. So yeah, this Suffer Wait, Hope. But no, don't go yet. I'm not. Just imagine the bees have little Captain America shields as they're flying up the pee hole. <laughs> All right, boys. We gotta break the wreath, and we gotta get to the ball bag. Oh man, we're gonna sting really, his ass. It's not possible, but you're really putting a lot of thought into it. <laughs> I just heard it just now. I'm just thinking about this stuff. I, know, I actually thought of that fear. That's, I had it was one of my fears actually. If you're afraid of kid. bees, now you're fucking afraid of those bees. They're, now you're gonna. If you see a bee, you're probably gonna snort some diarrhea. All right, let's go. When I first saw, seriously though, when I first saw a bee as a little child, I first, the first thing I thought. That son bitch is gonna it's gonna flap my pee hole. I I, I gotta get in the house now. <laughs> it's bad enough they sting you just yeah. regular. All right. But I envision he's gonna fly, fly right up in. there. He's that slowly, would hurt on the way. Around. Just flying. He's, all right, B, you're done. You're not gonna, gonna sting feel, my balls. You're now. gonna feel all of his wings flapping and just scraping and oh, that'd be And nasty. it's not one B. <laughs> you have to get through two Bs and then like, all right, on three. <laughs> and they both sting both your balls. You know what though? <laughs> you can be ready time. for him though. If they fly up there. You can be ready with a bowl of diarrhea powder make them snort the shit. <laughs> just see for even attempting to fly up your pee hole. Hey, look, yeah, you bastards. Yeah, Here's some special small straws for your little mouths. Bee deterring powdered diary. That's right. Wow, that's a whole... Or we could throw the boiling piss in their face before they even get to the pee hole. That is some Or you can boil your piss as it comes out of your pee hole. Wait. Have you... Have your piss boiling hot when it comes out of the pee hole and just shoot the bees that so they try to go up man this can all be one thing yeah it could be so we got we got some countermeasures for sure so we maybe, got countermeasures maybe when you get your balls stung maybe that boils your pee somehow it could and then it's gonna, good, and good then, point and then it's your body's um defense mechanism to shoot those good bees point. with that boil pee shoot those bees with the boil Wee. pee shoot those bees with the boil <laughs> pee shoot those bees with the boil <laughs> pee you gotta shoot those bees with the boil pee all right <laughs> like that's what happens in there's your body. Be, it's like, okay, boil about that piss. We got fire. We got fire in three minutes. No. And we're gonna make a hit song out of it. <laughs> Whatever. Whatevs. Anything can happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. We don't do this every day, but when we do, oh, I got like four more. So <laughs> I know you do. I'm waiting. I'm making yeah. sure this whole hour long of this. Why don't you just go get fillings in all your teeth and get some tin foil in there and put your head in a vice? Okay, wasn't that good? But that one I don't understand though. Okay, it's you like got... just you know how it hurts when you have fillings. Yeah, okay. And you bite down on tin foil. Never and... did that. Oh shit! It hurts. People are cringing out there. I know. Really? Yeah. Wait, I have you fillings, like... and if I put like anything tin in there, like a wrapper to something like a york or whatever all right anybody raise your hands do you ever bite in tinfoil and it hurts bite in tinfoil and it hurts sorry for going away from the mic i never did any really well don't do you have do you have feelings yeah I have feelings. that is that's painful if you just accidentally really? bite it for a second so if you have a vice and then do what a vice down. on your whole a head vice? oh Pushing i get your it teeth together on top i get of tin... it oh man reynolds wrap or any tinfoil any tin... so a slice of tinfoil maybe metal teeth. too I'm, i think it's just tinfoil i don't know so you, you want to add insult to injury. You want to put tinfoil in there and then clamp your teeth together. Yes. That's An horrifying. extended amount of time. I should have been a little more it's specific. It's never happened to me, but that's horrifying. And less specific at the same time. That sounds horrifying. So oh. let's, let's, just go, let's just go with this. If you're not talking, we're going to put tinfoil in your mouth, clamp your head down device, and we're going to throw 100 mile an hour boiling piss in your face. <laughs> All you'll of talk then, once. man. This is way better than water. And you know what? Water if you know what I'm talking about then, the straws are on their way to your nostrils for the powdered diarrhea. Yeah. The when, triple threat. When we're torturing people and whatever in Guantanamo and all that stuff, like you, you don't have to feel bad for them anymore. This stuff isn't happening to them. So I vote for the Hornets for the Guantanamo boys. Yeah, we got to get Just clamp it open. Got to step it up. And just put a whole nest there. And put the honey at the end. Now we gotta boys. find him again. No, but let's not get into politics. Yeah, let's not even get into that. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah, they're gone, right? So actually, know about that. You gotta find them. No, because yeah, they let five of them they're go gone. for one of our guys. Oh, they're no threat at all. We're watching them. Oh, the really? Time. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. We're watching them all the time. It's politics. Yeah, it's politics. So when I talk Never politics, I go far looking. away from the mic. You can't even hear me because if somebody hears me, they could get to the government. I'm talking politics. <laughs> Jesus. Went from orange to green to great. Rainbow drinking, rainbow drinking. Rainbow what I do with back. the bees? The bees? Call back. Rainbow what was that bee song? I forget. Rainbow Fuck you assholes out there. Not you. Not you. Step aside. You, you're the good one. <laughs> Step aside. You. 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 The ones behind the ones yeah. in the front. They're the fans. The ones behind. They really don't know what to make of the show. You're the ones that we need to torture. Get up front. <laughs> How about I rip your fucking tongue all the way out and dip it in liquid nitrogen and stab your eyes out, bastard ass fuckhead? Whoa. Wait a minute. First of all, if you're going to rip somebody's tongue out, dip it in, ni- in liquid nitrogen, ain't going to do anything more to them because it's already ripped out of their head. So right. they're not going to feel That's that That's only to sharpen it, to make it so that it can you can jab it in their eye. You freeze it. Wait a minute. I didn't catch that part. So you're going to stab them? Play that again. How about I rip your fucking tongue all the way out and dip it in liquid nitrogen? All the way out. Stab your eyes out, bastard. Stab your eyes out with with your tongue. tongue. Holy shit. So you rip it out. This is like fatalities for Mortal Kombat. Who thinks of this shit? You need help, man. You need pills or something. Who who thinks of that? Wow. I don't know. That's a good one, though. Yeah, that's like, if like all that. they're all ready, you don't need to lose the eyes after that. You're ripping the whole tongue out. Tongues are pretty long. I don't know if you know. I don't know how long they are. I'm not a science guy or anything like that. But, but that's like, eco-friendly, too. That's so eco-friendly. You're saving energy. You're only using a little bit of nitrogen. You're using your own hands to pull the tongue out and making a spear out of it. You're saving knives. You're saving bullets. You can just stab yeah. their eyes out with this, their own tongue. That's recycling at, at the best. I don't know about li- ni- li- liquid light, light, li- li- I said li- liquid, liquid nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah, liquid. No, what did I I'm say? Saying, I'm saying that. I messed it up. I thought you meant I messed I it up. You. I don't know about liquid nitrogen. You're fucking everybody up now. I know. Don't yeah. worry about it. You yeah. still got your eyes and your tongues. You're safe. This segment but is you like see any, really long now. I'll tell you what. You see any liquid nitrogen laying around, be aware. Yeah, what I'm saying about tongue. that is, is that expensive? Is that, is that, or is that, I don't know anything about liquid. I don't know anything about the stuff I'm talking about. You should know a little science for that. But it will work, See, though. If Imagine if I had that knowledge, what I would come up with then. I don't even know a lot of things. No, that'll work, I'm but it'll be a dull tongue, this. though. Once you put it in the yeah, liquid nitrogen, dull, it's going to be a which dull might tongue. Be better. And once it hits the eye, it's going to shatter. And I wonder if they're dead the by eye. ripping out their tongue by then. So Man. if I be if I be Bill Nye, the science guy, I would tell you this. When you rip your tongue out, you can do that successfully, no problem. Rip somebody's tongue out, no problem. Pair of pliers, your hand, whatever. You okay. won't take much to do it. Uh, but if you put it in liquid nitrogen, now it's frozen, solid, it's frozen. As soon as you try to jab it in their eye, it's going to shatter. So it's not going to go in their eye. So that's, uh, you need to do something else. Okay, so to make people a little more comfortable about this whole thing. <laughs> really? Now imagine this person that you're doing this to. I know you're like, why Why would you wish that on somebody? Oh, this, these are things, these are the worst things that you could think of. Now imagine, since you like animals so much. That they were torturing animals like this, ripping out their tongues and stuff, and t- torturing animals their whole life and stuff like really bad. That'd be ridiculous. Killing animals and then like, they, they just love to like, k- like kick puppies around and stuff. Imagine that's the kind of person we're dealing with here. Then you can, might you might want that I'm, stuff to okay. happen to them. That sounds fair. See, better than a prison sentence. They deserve that. Yeah, prison sentence so is too easy. That- the viewers that left because of we're saying this stuff that happened to people and it's I mean we're just as bad as them right imagine because animals are more important than humans right to a lot of people like you like animals more because right. they're not capable of the stuff they you do people. right probably you know, it makes a little you sense do. I kind of do in some I like ways them. I mean we're trying to minimize animal cruelty I mean See? yeah but it's a public service what think about saying? it okay. it's a lot cheaper anyway. get rid of the Take the matter into your own hands when animal cruelty is going on and uh, yeah. do some of these little things we're talking about and save save some money and uh, save the animals. We can all we're do our part. About. Yeah. And kill these assholes exactly. in, in really <laughs> sadistic ways. Let's go. Let's get them back. We're going to get them back. Let's get back on track. Got to fight back. Here's another one. Is this going to get worse? Here's a little something you can do for me. Go drown in a vat filled with old lady's last period blood. 
<laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That is so dark and demented. Oh, man. And I'm like, here's something you can do. For, like, I'm a bad guy from a And movie. first of all, the first thing I think of is, who's collecting this old period of blood and how much would it take to drown in? Now, that's not that gross because when you're having your period, you're not that old anymore. I mean, yeah, you know, I know when, that. When it's but, your last period. Yeah. But, but it's the yeah. volume of last period of blood. You need to do this, something like that. To submerge somebody's face in a pool or maybe they bowl like of period kind of, of blood. This podcast has turned into a really dark oh, Resident man. Evil podcast. This is not Resident even going Evil. anywhere. Not. It will go on We're the internet. We're covering all ground. We're yes. talking about bees, piss, shit. This We're talking ha- about all bodily fluids, periods. There's going to be called? all kind of warnings of this podcast when it goes up. Big yeah. giant letters. Menstruation fluid. Menstrual fluid. Is that what the technical it's term is? Fluid. Period. But okay, or. back. Okay, don't don't try to dodge the question. Don't well, they, dodge the question, well, Sean. They could snort boiling granny period blood. So where you, how we, how did we acquire this volume of period blood? The drowning. That's a lot. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Whole vat. I said. That's a vat. You did say a vat. You didn't say a cup or a bucket. You said it's a vat. It's titled vat too. A vat. It's titled vat. You actually thought it out. It's titled vat. Yep. All these titles were mm-hmm. so far. We got okay. suffer hope. That's the one with 100 miles per hour boiling pit. And then we got snort. I just okay. did snort for snorting powder one. diarrhea. And then two bees is the other one. Interesting titles. Two bees for flying Interesting your dick titles. hole and stinging both your balls at the same time. We it's got very that specific. One. Oh, it's not just two bees flying up there. It's, they, they have How many balls bees? At the same time. It's two. Just two. That's it. Oh, just two bees. Yeah. It's only two bees. Not like a whole nest full of bees. What did you think? I thought it was a nest full of bees. Just okay, maybe that's even better. Maybe that's if, in case they just do whatever they did again. Get, two bees. Then they get the whole nest. <laughs> so wait, wait. I know, I know. I'm going off track here, but no. Finish your list for the titles, and then and I got a question to ask. The next one was Vice, just simply titled Vice. Just titled Vice, okay. The, the tinfoil, okay. And the and tongue for freezing your tongue and stabbing your eyes. And, and then I'm in bat. Back. Okay, back to the bees now. One more. Okay, we got two bees. Not a stay tuned. He's talking. Two bees. I'm talking now. See. Get back to that. Yep. Back to the bees. Uh. We'll get back to the regularly scheduled program in a minute, but to the bees. There's two bees flying up. Okay, paint this picture. You're out somewhere, or you're being tortured, whatever. You're stripped down, and your pee hole's exposed. We release two bees to fly up the pee hole. Somehow bust through the urethra and get to the ball bag and sting you in the ball bag. For whatever, that's going to be very, very painful. Okay, these two bees, they have to be, they have to be suicide bees. Because when they get up there, how are they getting? How are they getting back out safely? How are the bees e- exiting to save their own lives? Are they Al Qaeda bees? What kind of bees are they? Are they suicide bombers or? I don't know. I don't know a lot of kind of bees. Exit Probably. plan. Just Come the on. Worst kind of bees. But they gotta be willing to sacrifice Bee their lives willing. to go up there and only a one way trip, right? It's not a round trip. Hey right. boys, the one way trip. You. Oh. Why up the pee hole and you're, right. you're not going back? To bees. No, yeah, they have to be able to get out. You're right. Yeah. Like just get out the bee hole then, right? The butthole. Oh, the bee hole. Yeah, fly up there. So now they got to smash through more skin. Maybe sting. Yeah, well, whatever they can. They got to smash sure. through skin. They got and up bone there. Now. I'm sure they can get out easier way. Maybe back the same way they came. You know. I guarantee there's no fucking routes from the ball bag to the, to the I asshole. I think there's when no they're routes. bent over, it'd be easy to sneak out the bee hole though. That's true. You know, cause, all right, they're small. Because they're gonna be covering up. Ow! And they That's just right. sung both my balls at the same time, and they're covering it up. There's no yeah. ex- there's no exit right. there. Maybe they can sting their way out your bladder or something out through your stomach. Right. That's what they. Can. I never thought of that. There we go. They can actually use their stingers, as little daggers, and just supersonic speed, just jab a hole in your ball bag and come right out of your ball bag. Yeah, they can tear through. They can dig a half inch hole in your ball bag in no time with these little stingers. These bees are trained for this kind of thing. These bees are especially equipped with reciprocating stingers. They, they go back and forth like saws. Sharpening their stingers before this. They get little serrated edges and they're like little jigsaw and they can bite blades. Too. Teeth, they have teeth, I guess, right? And they, you hear bee, bees biting. So they, so okay, they so they bite you way. and sting you, but not, 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 they're not, not just the barbed stingers, whatever you call them. They got little jigsaw blades and they actually saw holes in your ball bag like half inch thick and get their little bodies back out. And, and, and the worst of it is. I should still be painting this picture. And the worst of it is, when they they get out of there, and you're in so much pain, they just did this shit to you. They flew up. Let's, let's reiterate. They flew up your ball. They flew up your pee hole, busted through your urethra, got in your ball bag, stung you, 
and now they punctured a hole, a half inch hole, into your ball bag with their razor sharp jigsaw blade stingers. They flew out, they turn around, and they laugh at you. They're hovering in front of your eyes, laughing at you as you're cringing in pain. It's the worst. It's and the then worst. They sting your eyes. Sorry. I wish I had animation for this. Maybe I will, maybe no. I won't, but I, we don't know. Imagination has Jigsaw it all covered, blade I think. bees. Yeah, shit. use your imagination. I'm not going through that shit with that magic animation. Phew. Sorry. The visual will be too much. <sighs> next. Next. And last. Uh, next. I'll beat you with a frozen turd hammer. Okay. To what extent would I beat them with a frozen turd hammer? Now that's two things involving frozen things. Right? And my first thought, and poop. Okay. Yeah, right. Pup. Pup. How you? What kind of? Ha what kind of handles are on it? And how do you keep it from breaking apart? You freeze it. So the whole hammer's made. I think just the end of the hammer would be frozen turd. Okay. All right. Turd. All right. I can get that. I get. I can, I'm on board with that one. Blunt, frozen yeah. turd matter. Yeah. What was the cause of death? Poop. Blunt force turd trauma. Get it? We gotta have a jingle for that. Yeah. Blunt force turd trauma. Wow. I can't imagine how this is gonna turn out. Now here's ones that aren't good enough for people. Like this is not good enough. Is, yeah, this one's a bad comeback. Doo, doo, like if somebody doo. says something to you and then you, you got to snap wah. back at them and this is all you thought of. Bad comebacks on the fly. Where did you go to learn that, worm school? Wah. You're one to talk. It takes you too long to go to the bathroom. See, those just wah, don't wah, affect wah. anybody. See, that's Only old stuff. people. I can't go to the bathroom. I just can't compete with the two Bs. The Making fun of prostrates. Turds, you know. Day way to go. So thank you, everyone, for joining the uh, Laugh Time Show podcast. And we're talking about, what were we talking about? Bees and poop and killing people. And what's in, very what's a general ways. thing, though? Ways of just torture? Just like ways returning to... the hatred, that, the returning the negative. Just, you know, turn the frown upside down. No. Just That's... like getting back at people. That's that are assholes and really negative right. and bringing everybody good. down and just That's like good. giving them a taste of their own. Nuts. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining and hope you uh, succeed. If you do use one of these uh, methods, uh, please email us or send us a, a video. It'd be fun to watch actually. <laughs> you pull this stuff up, but uh, definitely get a video. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>